to the Paul Olden Details channel. Right, this week I'm going to introduce to you a new company to the channel. Not new company to the UK. These guys have been around for a hell of a long time and this is High Definition Detail. Um, Shane, the owner, reached out to me quite some time ago. We've been chatting over the last couple of months about the direction of the channel and certain products I'd like to see featured on the channel, certain accessories. And this is the first of many videos. The channel's slightly changing. You're going to see a slight change to the channel next year. Don't worry, it's for the better, I can assure you. You. you're still going to get brand reviews only I am tweaking it slightly right on with the first batch of products which um, Shane sent down uh, this is the Dr. Dirt replacement bottle for your snow foam lance uh, you might have seen me use uh, the uh, sprayer bottle with the uh, double action trigger spray which is a bit too big it's a bit too cumbersome yes it's got the same flat bottom this however is 0.8 litres in size 800 millilitres it has a nice viewing a uh, window through here so you can see how much snow foam you're putting in or product of your choice apc citrus tfr wherever you want to put through it um, there are some plus sides to this and there is some slight downsides but the, the downsides are just minimal they're pathetic to be honest we're going to more about that later on so there's one of those uh, to review uh, this is a scrubbing brush for your tires now i have got one of these uh the uh, tire scrubbers this however it seems to be a lot stiffer unless this one's just not been worn in through lorry tires and copious amounts of uh, rubber uh, this one is pretty stiff so that's a scrubbing uh, brush or tire scrubbing brush excuse me it's spinning around uh, then we have a uh, 470 gsm cloth edgeless cloth these are the korean ones very very plush this one's a little bit soiled because i've been using it sent me a couple of those down then we have a double-sided wash mitt that is uh, 18 by 20 korean wash mitt it's pretty big actually it fits my edward shovel hands but my favorite things of all <laughs> so far is the quick release system um, for the Neil Fisk. That's this little gizmo. Now I have got to give a massive shout out straight away before we even discuss anything else about this. Um, I first saw this um, with Specky McSporran, my dear friend Craig, way up in Aberdeenshire. So I'll put a link to his channel. You can check out the Fiesta video that he did. And we got chatting on the phone. I said, where'd you get that from? I've never seen one. I was like jumping up and down and getting rather excited as I do when I see something new. And he pointed me in the right direction. So thanks to uh, Craig Specky McSporran for this little gizmo. Right, so this converts your Neil Fisk. Uh, you take the end of your lance off, you'll see it in the video, and then you twist this in, make sure you've got some sort of a, a lube on there because it's rather stiff, and wear gloves or use a, a microfiber to put it in. Don't put it in with wet hands, you'll struggle. And then this makes it so you can fit these in, these little gizmos, which then makes it a quick release system. You lose the end of the uh, Neil Fist Lance and you put these kitties in. The green one is 25 degrees. Then you have a rather narrow one, which is 15. There are several of these you can get, all from uh, high definition detail, and you can get like a little uh, rack to put them in. I'll put all the links down below. But this actually comes as a kit. You get these two and then you get, which I've changed already, the quick release system for the snow foam lance. You have to take your standard Neil Fisk one out, wrap some PTFE tape around that, crank it up with a spanner, and you're good to go. Now, they do make this kit for um, Bosch, Lava, I think it's Karcher and Kranzel M22. Don't quote me on all of those, but there is going to be some more makes coming to the web page. But I'll put the link in for this, and you can have a browse at your leisure. So that's the quick release system. I also like to show a bit of support, and I thought I'd try these out. These are general purpose microfibers. These are, uh, on my notes, 250 GSM. Um, same as these ones, they're 40 by 40. But obviously these are a lot thinner. You can use these on glass, uh, plastic, paint, you name it. You'll see it in the video, I use it on glass. Spoiler alert. Anyway, as usual, let's jibber jabber in and uh, let's get out in the rain. Here we go then, this is my old Neil Fisk Lance. It served me well, but I'm now going to make some upgrades. That's the bit we're interested in. So it's a twist and lock mechanism. Just unlock it. The strength of 10 typists, as my dad says. And then replace it with this, the high definition detail conversion kit. So you can get all the different attachments on the website. 
Don't try and do this. Put it in with wet hands, it doesn't work. Look at me, look at that strength. Try using a microfiber or some decent gloves or just dry it and don't do it with wet hands, Paul. Good to go. Quick look at the rather stiff tire scrubbing brush, which is gonna be used very, very soon. And then it's straight into the arches. Now, one thing I did notice with me straight away, I can't help putting two hands on this. There's no real need. You can just do this with one hand. Obviously, it's easier with a stubby gun, but you can just use one hand. It's just force of habit. There you go, take your hand off, Paul. What an idiot. Quick rinse down before any chemicals go on these tires and those wheel covers. No, they're not alloys. Obviously, this is a base range, very old um, Skoda. Your battle bus. Rinse down and then it's in with an APC and the Marilex pump sprayer and then load up the tire scrubbing brush and scrub away. It's not been broken in yet. This is a virgin brush. Pretty stiff. And some wheel cleaner. Pretty basic stuff this, this week. Just a very quick maintenance wash. Didn't go mad on this. And then rinse down. So obviously having a shorter um, gun makes it a damn sight easier. Less weight. Less strain in the old wrists. Once again, Treat the tyres with a degreaser of your choice, an APC of your choice. If it comes off brown, do it again. A bit like wiping your backside, really. I never thought of it like that. If I can, soft brush. That's all you need for these wheels. To be honest, they are pretty scratched. Now uh, you can scrub these out with an EZ uh, wheel arch brush. As we uh, had threatening rain with us all day, I chose to cheat. Now, quick tip, straight in the pocket so you don't lose it, and it's a quick switcheroo on the snow foam. Yes, pretty easy stuff, it's all basic, isn't it? So there is ample amount of uh, chemical in there, snow foam to just go around this car. It saves you product in the long run. I, times I do cars and I have stuff left in the bottle and I don't really need to keep going over it and turning the car into a marshmallow, there's just no need. This is ample. 800 ml of liquid in there and you're done. And yes, I missed the flap. Look at it, just sat there, waiting for foam. Give me some foam. Ah, major fail. Quick going over with a soft detail brush in the rather grubby areas. Don't forget your badges. They are incredibly soft, these brushes. These are the detailing factory style brushes. And it's an incredibly quick rinse down what I did notice when I was rinsing down is when I used to have the old one, I used to go into the car a bit too close. I don't know why I used to do it, but stand back, hold the actual uh, lead, or hose, should I say, lead, electrocute myself. And you can just stand away from the car. You don't risk marring the car with your pipe. Hose, lead, what's wrong with you, Paul? So once we've finished rinsing down the foam, it was onto the door shut area. Something I don't really feature much on the channel. I should do really. I think I know why, judging by this horrendous bit of camera work. So we switch over to the narrow one. 
classic put the camera in the wrong place there, Paul. You kind of get the idea with this. It just directs the water in a much better way and stops you saturating the door cards. Ah, oh, that's better. Pretty grubby inside that car, I can tell you. It's my younger son's car. He happens to be a ground worker. Landscape gardener. Titch Marsh in the making. You can come to our bloody garden estate of it. Looks like a ploughed field. Then move on to the Korean wash mitt. 18 by 20. First impressions, I think it needs breaking in a bit. It's a little bit stiff, but it does cover a nice area. I can get my hands in there fine. I, of course, have fingers the size of Havana cigars. They are huge. So if you have hands the size of a field mouse, you might struggle. Paint works, not in very good condition on this car. It's been sat under a tree at work and it's covered in tree sap. Not good, especially on the roof. The rest of the car's not too bad, it's the roof that's the worst bit. So once it's had a decent wash, it's down to the rinse stage again. Dad bod coming in. And then a dry stage after, and then move on to the microfibers. Just chose a quick demo on the glass. And yes, do roll the window down or hit the button and do the top part of the glass, as you'll end up with that horrible mark. As far as the panels are concerned, with the plusher microfiber, just a bit of QD on there. Answers on a postcard to uh, what QD that is. Coming on the channel very soon. And that is it, ladies and gents. That's the first part of the accessories from High Definition Detail. Oh, and it's all ready for him going to uh, take down the road and get covered in crap again. Skoda's looking a damn sight better. It's not perfect, I will give you that. It's a daily, it's bruised and battered. It's his first car and uh, he's not exactly a petrol head, bless him, but he is a bit of a workaholic, so can't take that away from him. Um, so let's talk about these products. So this quick release system from High Definition Detail. Now this, in actual fact, is the just the shortening version. You can get a stubby gun, uh, which uh, Shane has on his website for uh, numerous machines. Yes, it's more money. This is like the budget version of uh, converting your Neil Fisk. It does transform it. It does transform it very, very quickly. I fitted the uh, the quick release on my snow foam within like 10 minutes, so I managed to get the uh, the original adapter off, and it transforms the whole sort of the way you wash your car. You can get the gun right up into the arches. I didn't use the scrubbing, uh, the EZ scrubber. You know, I didn't go right into the arches. Just a demonstration to show you the fan pattern and how far you can get this gun in. And also using this little one, the uh, the smaller of the two, the 15, uh, 15 degree one, reading me notes, uh, with a narrow fan, it's very good to get underneath doors and in door shuts, so perfect. And the quick release system for the snow phone, uh, Lance, you know, saves that faffing about. Uh, so in my book, these are really, really good. And yes, this stuff was sent down for free, but. I was going to buy all this anyway. I was going to buy it and review it, and Shane kind of beat me to it. So uh, more about that in future videos, no doubt. So, and it comes to the, uh, the Dr. Dirt, the stubby little snow foam lance. The whole idea is obviously it doesn't topple over and then crack the end of this, or like John did in, uh, from Forensic, drop it on his car. 
you have this nice short little bottle. Now, there is a downside to this. Let's talk about the pros first. There are 800 milliliters of product in here, or sorry, say water mixed with product, and you've got that little viewing window. You'll have to dial your products down. So if you're using 100, obviously down to 80 or even 50. And this is the main problem. You, you have to trim this down. And I'm not gonna do it uh, because I don't wanna make it too short in case I revert back to the bigger bottle. This, this part here, your little um, pipe, they recommend you trim that because obviously it's going to curl itself up in a bottle and it's not good for it. But for the demo this week, I'll just leave that as it is. That is the only really downside about it. Yeah, it's common sense. If you're going to do like trucks and commercials and you'll just move over to your bigger bottle, it's as simple as that. And when you're not using it, it's got its own cap. Put your cap back on it, whack it on the shelf and then... If you do knock it over, it won't leak all the uh, snow foam everywhere or it's whatever contents you've got in it. So that's the uh, Dr. Dirt, which is actually a brilliant name. I might rename myself that, Dr. Dirt. Uh, scrubbing brush for the tyres. The, uh, there's a kind of universal. A lot, this is pretty much identical to my old one, although this is a, seems to be a lot stiffer. Uh, my one's obviously worn in. Yeah, it's pretty stiff. You've got to put your hands right near, near those bristles to give it some... Uh, Elbow grease, as it were. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, when it comes to the uh, edgeless microfiber, I've been using these for the last couple of weeks. Um, I was using a f these bits before I actually shot the video, which gives you a bit more information and a, a real sort of true review. These are lovely, these are. They're really nice. They're not grabby or anything. Um, as long as you don't overwash them, uh, around about 40 degrees in your wash. If you've got some microfiber wash, then throw that in. These are due for a wash. They uh, don't seem to le uh, leave a lot of residue on the panel. I'd recommend you use that one for glass, obviously. Um, a tighter pile. These are the 250 GSM cloths. Same thing again. Put them in a wash, no more than 40 degrees, and they're good to go again. When it comes to the wash mitt, it's, it's pretty generic to be honest with you. Yes, it's nice, you know, it's nice and plush. The Korean wash mitts are pretty good. These things, they all seem to be much of a muchness. I've, I've got to admit, there's nothing that really stands out about this one. It's got decent coverage. You get your hand in there, make puppet faces if you're that way inclined. Why would anyone want to do that? I don't know, Paul. Um, and it's got that stitch bit, so you can get your hands in there. Unless you're from Mersey and you've got more than five fingers. Luckily, I'm not a local, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, so. In the wash, no more than 40 degrees, and this should return it to its former glory, especially if you use the microfiber wash stuff. We are going to talk about prices now, which is the most important thing about all of this and the fact that they perform. We know that, so what does it all cost? Right, the quick release system uh, for the Neil Fisk and for the other machines, this is $15.99 for your quick release system. Not bad at all, considering it transform your standard gun to a shorter gun, which makes things a damn sight easier. Oh, there we go, knock everything over. And it comes to the Dr. Dirt replacement snow foam bottle. That is a very respectable eight pound. And it comes to the cloths. These cloths, the 250 GSM, these are seven pound 80 for 12. And these are three pound 50 for the 470 GSM edgeless. So not bad at all. The mitt is 11.99. So that's the prices. Oh, sorry, scrubbing brush, £3.50. Almost forgot that one. That's the prices, Paul. Um, thanks ever so much for um, everyone that's watched this video. Please put your thumbs up. Please interact. It's really important that you interact with the comment section. I'll try and get back to you as quick as possible. Um, and this is a Friday night. I've had too many sherbets. Um, <laughs> and please interact like crazy over the next few weeks. I'll try and get some more videos out. There is a ton of reviews coming, not just from high definition detail, there's all this stuff sitting on the back burner. Better pull my finger out. Like, share and subscribe as always guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next video.